our game has been retrogressing for the past 10 years. And the time has come that as a country, we need to do things differently. We've done it in a particular way, and the results are clearly showing that it's just not working. There's no harm in tweaking it. We need to tweak it. If in tweaking it, heads has to go, so be it. The managers of our game have not been fair to the people of this country, especially those at the Ghana Football Association and the ministry. Because when the taxpayers' money is being used to do something, you expect the minister and his ministry to be supervisors and monitor every single expenditure. We've not had that from them. Rather, they have always connived with the people, with the football people, and they create the loot and the share. I'm not going to take that back. Because if you look at how we can budget and spend huge sums of money, it is only in Ghana. The recent AFCO, Nigeria budgeted $2 million. 700000 of that, CAF gave to them. So as the people of Nigeria, they only contributed $1.3 uh, million to add up to the $2 million. We could sit down, think through this, Having received seven hundred thousand dollars from from CAF, we budgeted what eight point five million dollars, my brother. In this country, we have been told that because of COVID, we have serious issues. I agree. I agree. But under the circumstance, we, are, we need to be very, very judicious when it comes to expenditure of our money. You don't tax the people of this country and blow the money into people's personal pocket, like we've seen. You take our team to the World Cup, you tell me that after 12 days, one management member should be given $13 billion, $100,000. It is not done anywhere. If you look at what we, what we went through in Brazil, where money were flown from this country, all the way to, we were more or less the laughing stock of the world. Everybody laughed at us at the time. We've not learned anything. We need to fix it. And I'm grateful for people like you. We are so honored that Ghanaians are speaking the same language. We will change our football and anybody who stands in our way, may God have mercy on that.